WGEM Sports with Sports Director Tony Cornish Jr. Last Friday, Quincy Notre Dame's first business trip of the season turned out pretty well as the Raiders pounded Class 7A Granite City 49 to 24. This week, well, head coach Jack Cornell faces the task of getting the Raiders focused and ready to go all out on the road once again as QND takes on Breeze Matter Day. Junior quarterback Ike Wiley and the Raiders are certainly looking forward to having an opportunity to take on the four and one nights once again whether it's home or away trust me that's because the memory of last year's 42 to 14 loss in the gym city against matter day still leaves a bad taste in the mouths of the players that were on the turf during that setback back in uh, 2018 now friday's matchup yeah it'll be another big test for the blue and gold well, Breeze is a very disciplined football team. You know, they do a lot of really little things really well. Uh, and we know that we're going to get their best shots. So hopefully we can do the same for them. You know, they're, they're very aggressive, very downhill. And uh, we're just going to we're just going to do what we know how to do. We're going to do what we do and uh, try to do what we can do to win. Just do what you can do. I like that. Senior outside hitter Sidney Hummert, meanwhile, tallied 16 kills and 13 digs to lead. Q&D past Jacksonville in volleyball action. Straight sets, not too bad. They remain undefeated. How about those Lady Raiders? Q&D's Meredith Sievers finished with seven kills and seven digs. Lady Tornadoes with Grigsville Perry also won a straight sets on the road against Pleasant Hill. GP now 2-11 on the season. Meanwhile, on the prep fairways earlier today at Rolling Greens, the Lady Hornets of Brown County beat West Hancock 